Hi Dragonflies, welcome back to Dragonfly Spirit Studio. I'm Lynn Bauer. This is just a short video to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately, and that is, what tape do I use to tape down my paper for the postcard paint-alongs? So I followed up with some of you and I found out that the question behind that question, as I suspected, is that you're having problems with tape because if you find tape that's sticky enough to actually hold the paper in place while you're painting, then you're having problems with it tearing the paper when you go to remove it after you're done. So I will tell you in this video what tape I'm using right now, but I'll also tell you right up front that it's not some kind of special tape. I buy whatever I can find easily in half inch masking tape that's white or tan um, when I need more tape. So I think that for many of you, the problem is probably something slightly different than the particular brand of tape that you're using. So I want to explain to you some of the things that cause the paper to tear and what you can do about it, because you may have tape already in your studio that turns out to be perfectly fine and you don't need to go out and order the tape that I'm using. If you've been trying something like drafting tape, which has a lot less stickiness, then you're probably having the opposite problem where it doesn't stick well enough to hold the, pa the paper down while you're trying to paint. So hopefully these tips will help you just use regular masking tape and still be able to remove it without having it tear your paper when you're done. So the tape that I'm using is X-Fasten Artisan Tape, half inch width in white. Um, and please don't send me emails asking me to tell you where to buy it, buy it in your part of the world. If you search from where you are, you'll get local results a lot more easily than I will. So please do your own search to find out where or if you can buy it in your part of the world. But I also think you probably don't even need to worry about that. I buy it because it's one of the tapes that I can find readily in the one half inch width. In the US it's available from Amazon so you can find it that way. And although it kind of looks like drafting tape, it's got the same amount of stickiness as regular hardware store masking tape. And when I need widths other than a half inch, I just go to the hardware store. And this is basically the same kind of tape, it's just nice that it comes in half inch width and white. So I stick it down very securely. I don't do any of those little t tips or tricks that people sometimes will tell you if your tape is tearing the paper to take your tape first and stick it down to something else a bit and get some of the adhesive off. I don't do that. I want this as sticky as I can get it so that it holds the paper in place and doesn't come off. So I don't think that tearing the paper usually has to do with tape being too sticky if you're using masking tape of some sort. I think it has to do with other things. So to, to explain what I mean by that, let's have a look at this piece of paper. So this piece of paper, as you can see from the sort of um, buckling here, it's completely saturated. So often when you're painting, you'll be painting for a while on this same sheet of paper and you might have a lot of moisture on the surface when you're laying your first few washes and that moisture absorbs down into the paper and it winds up getting all the way through to the back side. Now I know you can't see it right now but I'm hoping I can make it visible to you in a, in a minute how there is actually moisture that comes through and winds up between the paper and the support. And all of that has to come back out through the surface. That's the only way it can evaporate. So that's kind of a slow process. So that's key to understanding why your paper is tearing. Wet paper is fragile. Dry paper is strong. So if the, wet, if the paper is still wet on the back side, then that moisture is moving up through the paper, which means there's moisture in the inner layers of the paper, which means those layers can separate more easily. And 99% of the time, that's the reason that your paper is tearing. So what usually happens is you get all finished and you either let it dry naturally or you come along with your hair dryer and dry it. Okay, so now whether you let the paper dry naturally or use a hair dryer, there's a point where it feels dry on the front. It feels like it's completely dry, it's flattened back down, and so I think, okay, it's done and I can pull the tape off. 
and actually there's still quite a bit of moisture in this paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry with a hair dryer from this side and hopefully we'll be able to see the condensation forming on the inside. This is tough to catch on video, but I'm going to see if I can get it at an angle that makes that visible. So this is very hard to capture on video, but um, in person you can see quite a bit of condensation right here and all around some of these edges right there. There's some condensation on the back side. So that moisture has to move all the way through the paper and out the front side to evaporate. So even if you've dried it with a hair dryer, if that condensation is on the back side, there's still moisture that has to make its way through the paper layers to the front side. So if you're using hair dryer, I suggest you dry until it feels completely dry and then let it sit for a minute or two and then dry it some more <laughs> until it feels completely dry. Because after there's a little bit of time for the moisture to migrate back to the surface, you'll be able to remove some more from the front side with your hair dryer and not have um, moisture in the inner layers of the paper when you go to remove the tape. So the next tip that I have for you is when you do, do go to remove the tape, in case there is some moisture, especially under the tape where it's trapped, the moisture has to go out from under the tape and then up. Um, instead of pulling the tape straight up like this, so if you pull like this, that's the direction that the paper is most likely to separate. So if you pull straight up, that's the most likely to tear. So I'm actually going to kind of fold it back at a 45 degree angle and I'm pulling that way and allowing the tape to peel off and I'm pulling kind of slowly so if it does start to tear I'll see it happening before it's a disaster. So helping, uh, it'll help to pull it the right direction and then if that is starting to tear or you're a little worried about it or it feels like that tape is really stuck on the next trick I have for you is to use a hairdryer to warm up the heat adhesive on the tape. And when I say use a hairdryer, I don't mean just for like two seconds. You're going to actually use it until it's quite warm and that softens the adhesive. So let's... Okay, so now this is fairly soft at this point, so I can get it started, and then I'm actually going to use the hairdryer to keep softening as I pull, and I'll be able to feel how the adhesive just starts to gradually release on its own. The toughest part of demonstrating that is that my fingers are getting really hot. <laughs> Normally I weight the paper down so that I don't have to use my hand to do both. The next thing that could be causing your paper to tear is if you're using student grade paper. Student grade paper is just a lot softer. So by student grade I mean wood pulp paper. So any paper that doesn't advertise itself as 100% cotton is probably wood pulp paper because otherwise they tell you it's 100% cotton so they can charge you for it. So if you're using student grade paper, these techniques will work to keep it from tearing, but you need to be gentle, go slow, be a little more cautious because that paper is just more delicate. It's not as strong as cotton paper and especially when it's wet, it's not as strong. The usual culprit is moisture still in the paper. I can feel it, but I can't show it to you, unfortunately. So I'm not sure it was really possible for you to see the moisture that was still in the paper. You can see evidence of it in the fact that this isn't really flat. After I took the tape off, I realized, oh, it wasn't really dry or it would have flattened all the way back down. So try that, try those methods. Try pulling at a 45 degree angle gently try warming up the tape, 
try making sure your paper is really dry before you start pulling the tape off and see if that helps before you rush out and buy tape. And if none of those things work for you and you want to try this tape, there it is, X-Fasten Artisan Tape, half inch, white. You can get it on Amazon in the U.S. I don't know about the rest of the world. Hope this helps you. See you next time. Happy painting.